boom. It's time for a re-stretch. Let's do it. And you know you get a good re-stretch. Chris, can you show them that seam? And you get somebody else's seam to peak up real nice. So we've got this room already done. We were able to take an inch and a half up, up to that wall. Unfortunately, guys, we got some wrinkles in this hallway. And what I've been doing is I've been trying to manipulate the carpet to do whatever I can to not have to have them empty this furniture out of here because I'm already here. I want to get the job done. And to not have to take this seam apart. Unfortunately, the seam is going to come apart. So right now the seam is underneath the doorway and instead of trying to cut that actual seam and get that to come open and then take that seam tape up, which in my opinion, more than likely I'm going to damage that backing, just have a hell of a time getting it back together. I'm actually just going to come to the other side of the door. I ran, I was able to even kind of run a row. I'm going to run a row and um, I'm going to cut it open. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch up to my seam then cut a new seam. So it's not ideal, I know, but we're in a repair and we've, and, and hey, we're flooring installers, right? And the one thing that I say that we constantly have to do on a job is we, we, we're always problem solving. We're trying to figure out the next step because after I get this one done, guess what? I've got wrinkles over here that I've got to come through and I've got to navigate how to pull this up. Ideally, I wanted to pull everything into this closet here, guys and then just put some patches behind the door. We'll see what happens. I don't think it's gonna happen because stupid door right here. So if this was a wall, I think that would have been an easy, easy peasy. But uh, stay tuned, I'll show you how this kind of goes together. Uh, there's, I don't believe there's a wrong or a right way to really do this most of the time. Um, I'm just trying to get this carpet flat, restretched. Uh, they got a carpet cleaner coming, so. This is art, believe it or not. This is really, this is an art, this is a craft. This is uh, quite the skill to do, so stay tuned. So normally, guys, when I stretch up to a seam and I'm going to stay nail, I always like to stay nail behind here. Um, but because I'm pulling a stretch this way and I'm going to take a little stretch this way to get this flat, um, when I go to pull those stay nails, I don't want them way out here. And if I've got a pucker here and then try to get that to relax back. So I'm trying to keep my stay nails as close to the seam as I can and still get my seam put together. So... I bet I stretched this up here a good half inch. Here's um, something that it, it's probably going to happen with what I just did here. The reason I, li I like to use two stretchers is I can get an even stretch across here. We're using the one stretcher. More than likely, this thing is going, I bet my seam's kind of going like this. Not a big deal when I, go to, when I go to cut this one. I just have to be aware of that. And that's where that little needle trick is. I might go every six inches with those needles and try to follow the contour of that, that snakiness in that seam. So stay tuned. Let's see what happens. So now hopefully this kind of makes sense why I did what I did. So that hallway, we stretched down to here, stay nailed there. And then back up into here, what I did is because, again, guys, I don't want to have to empty this all out and start pulling wrinkles through here. What I did is I set, this was my set wall, and I just pulled up into there so I'd get a little bit of a stretch. Now I am, fingers crossed, I am kind of hoping here that I'm gonna go put this seam together and I'm going to pull those stay nails and that the pressure from this way and the pressure from this way, when, when I pull those off, it just kinda, it'll relax a little bit, but hopefully we don't get wrinkles back in there. Not other than other than like pulling everything apart and and clearing this room out, which I don't want to do. This is all I can think of doing. Now, what I did do is because I, I explained about okay, I'm taking a bunch of my stretcher and I'm stretching up to the seam and I'm taking you know mul I took three stretches across there. This piece is not gonna be straight, even though I had this does the seam cut straight, just because of the way I stretched that carpet, it's not gonna be straight. 
So what I did is about every six inches, I just stabbed a needle down in there. And I'm going to use my straight edge and just follow those needles and connect the dots. So I should get a seam, whether it's straight or not, I should get a seam that, that goes right back together. So um, here's my actual seam in there now. I'm going to be just, just by the old seam tape there. So we might have to do a little prep on that. So between that hallway over there and where I'm at, that's what I ended up cutting off. That's how loose that carpet was in there. So we're going to get this put seam put together. But you see, everything should just fall back together. And we should get a nice, it should be a nice looking seam. Um, this is the, oh, this is what I wanted to show you here. See, look at that. So there's my seam tape underneath there. You, you really, a good practice would be, we're gonna scuff this up a little bit so the new seam tape will stick to that. Um, I'm just gonna take a utility knife. I'm not gonna get carried away. I don't know if you zoom in there, Chris. You see where I'm just, I'm grooving that in or I'm, I'm just abrading that a little bit. And I'm that's just to get this, like if there's silicone or something on this backing, that's just gonna get my new tape to stick to it this is not ideal this is if this was a new install this is not ideal but again we're we're on a job we've got to solve problems there is no manual or rule book that's going to tell you how to walk through this they're going to give you you know there's there's pointers like don't put seam tape on top of seam tape it don't stick uh you know power stretch but how how and 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 how much and, and what direction, that's all gonna be up to, to you, um, the installer. So we'll get this scene put together and we'll check in with you. Biggity bam, restretch is done. I've got Chris downstairs vacuuming up a little bit. We've got our living room all restretched. Came over into the hallway, we had some wrinkles. Check it out, I think that turned out pretty good, guys. What do you guys think? I'll zoom in there, you guys can nitpick it apart. I really don't care. It's a 10 year old, 12 year old piece of carpet, something like that. Uh, come around here so what I was able to do here was set my stretcher board up right there and I was able to pull into that closet and uh, I did stretch past both of these but I figured that's that's beautiful just put a couple Dutchmen in there and, and call it good I was able to get the wrinkle out in this doorway and I didn't have to uh, take any seams apart always love that so all in all, good job. Took about two and a half hours. Um, and a lot of that had to do with just navigating this hallway, trying to get uh, seams apart, in, or the seam apart in there, get all the wrinkles out. Every one of these is unique. It's different. It's, I'm gonna use the word special, but um, it requires you know, a lot of out-of-box thinking. And I think maybe that's why a lot of guys don't care to do restretches, is because it's not A to B, B to C, C to D. 
it's a lot of like all over the place, different methods, different techniques, uh, a lot of stuff that we're just not accustomed to. But um, I think it's uh, I think it's pretty looking pretty good. So until the next one, uh, we'll catch you all later.